Hello again, I'm Susan Vargas, the coordinator for the devotional committee at Southern Asian Seventh-day Adventist Church located at Silver Spring, Maryland. I am delighted to present to you some of the amazing people who shared their personal testimonies to be used as daily devotionals here at SASTAC. Here with us is uh, Dr. Subodh Pandit. Dr. Subodh is a medical doctor and he has written several books. And more importantly, he is the editor for our devotionals this year. Uh, Dr. Subodh, what has been your experience in editing these stories? Well, as an editor, if you really want to do a good job editing, you have to understand what the person is talking about. So to do that, I had to read the, the write-ups very carefully. And as I read them carefully, I realized something was happening to me because the stories are so beautiful, the stories are so heart-touching that I myself was blessed. So I consider it a real privilege to be an, the editor of this. And so thank you to all those of you who wrote and all those of you who will write again. If you have blessed me in that extent, I am sure that as it has gone around the world, it has blessed so many others as well. So personally, it's been not just a challenge, but a great privilege to be blessed by your stories. And I must add to that, Dr. Subodh, uh, because many of our stories are from people uh, who are here who immigrated from India, and a lot of them are about medical issues. And you being a medical doctor and from India and having worked here, you could relate to all the stories and edit them perfectly. So thank you for offering your services. What would you say to someone who is sitting on the fence about sharing their stories? Well, I would say three things. Number one, if you are sitting on the fence, that means you do have a story. That is why you are sitting on the fence. And even if it is nebulous and not structured so well, you do have a story. That's number one. Number two, when we say your story, yes, it is yours. But remember, it has been orchestrated by God. He brought you into that position to have that story. So that's number two. Your story, yes, but it is God who brought you to that story. And number three, if God brought you to that story, then definitely he has a purpose in mind. So let me mention at least two purposes. Number one, so that you will be blessed by going through that experience. You will go through it and you will be lifted up. That's number one. Number two, he may have in his heart and in his mind that you should become an instrument now to bless somebody else. So you have a story that you got blessed with and now you, as you relate the story to the others through this uh, program that we have, you will be a blessing to others as well. So don't procrastinate. You're going to be a big blessing, not only to yourself, but all those who will read your write-ups. Thank you, Dr. Subodh, for encouraging everyone to participate. And thank you for your services for this project. May God bless you. Thank you. In 1 Thessalonians 5.11, we read, Therefore, encourage each other and build each other up. We just heard from a few people who did just that by sharing their stories to be used as devotionals to encourage us. We invite everyone, SASTAG members and friends, to share your testimonies so we can encourage each other. To share your stories, please visit SASTAC website at sastag.org. Go to upcoming events and devotional project. Thank you and may God bless you.